Unpack the supply film roll mandrels. Note that these two mandrels are different. The bottom mandrel is marked low and has a blue label on the right hand slot side. Laminating film is made up of two layers. A glossy layer which gives the lamination its strength, clarity, and rigidity and a dull or matte side which is heat activated and serves as the glue to bond the film to the product being laminated. Once heated, small amounts of the glue can stick to the heat shoes and the rollers must be periodically cleaned of the laminator. Laminating film is available in a variety of different lengths, widths, and thicknesses. The dry lamb laminator is designed to use 1.3 mil, 1.5 mil, and 3 mil thick films. Insert the mandrel marked low into the core of the film roll with the blue label slot side first. Rotating the mandrel in the opposite direction of the gripper points. Center the roll on the mandrel so that there are equal lengths of the mandrel protruding from each side of the film roll. The mandrel and film roll are then to be placed on the lower feed section of the laminator. The slot end, where the blue label is, should be inserted into the socket. The hanger end is then dropped into the hanger on the left hand side. At this point, check to make sure when the film is unrolled in an upward direction from the back side of the roll, the shiny side of the film faces the heat shoes and the dull glue side faces away from the heat shoes. Now take the mandrel marked top and has a red label on the right hand slot side. Insert the mandrel marked top into the core of the film roll with the red label slot end side first, rotating the mandrel in the opposite direction of the gripper points. Continue this process until the roll is centered on the mandrel with equal lengths of the mandrel protruding from each side of the roll. The mandrel and the film roll are to be placed on the upper feed section of the laminator. The slot end where the red label is to the right hand side and insert it into the socket. The hanger end is now dropped into the hanger at this point. Check to make sure that when the film is unrolled in a downward direction from the back side of the roll, the shiny side of the film faces the heat shoes and that the dull glue side faces away from the heat shoes. At this point the laminator has not been turned on and therefore the heat shoes are cold, making it easier to thread the film through the machine. Pull approximately one to two feet of film off of each roll. Using threading guide appearing on page 14 of the instruction manual, thread the film around the idler roam rollers and the overlap the top and bottom film leads. Turn on the key switch, start the motor by pressing the motor start button and reduce the speed to one foot per minute. Feed the threading board and film in between the heat shoes. Make sure the threading board is leading the film through the front feed rollers. Continue to monitor the progress of threading. As the threading continues, view the back side of the laminator to confirm that the threading board and film are moving through the back pull rollers. When the threading has been completed, remove the threading board and stop the motor. Check to be sure that the top and bottom rolls of film are in line with each other adjust if necessary. Install the feed table. Set the side guide of the feed table for your work. Install the heat guard. The machine is now ready to laminate. Push the on button. Select and push the preset button for the temperature of the film you have on the machine. When the ready light is on, start the motor and adjust the roll tension knobs 
located on the right-hand side. Refer to page 15, section E of the instruction manual for details. A film cutter is supplied and attaches to the machine with a magnet. It is located on the left-hand side of the machine. Two thermometers are installed on the left-hand side of the machine, one for each heat shoe. To laminate, press the motor start button and insert the paper to be laminated. Move the paper gently forward and allow the machine to take it from you. Monitor the paper as it passes into the machine. Monitor the paper as it exits from the machine. Allow the paper to exit a couple of inches beyond the back pull rollers. Then stop the machine by pushing the motor stop button in the lower right hand side of the control panel. Take the film cutter from the left hand side of the machine and cut the laminated paper from the roll. Refer to the instruction manual for complete and detailed information on the operation of your laminator.